welcome to Happy Chick. Today we are making another wine and you read it right. I'm not crazy. We're gonna make onion wine. You're saying onion wine? Really? She's lost her bonkers. No. <laughs> well, probably. <laughs> anyway, anyway, long, long time ago, when I was a little younger, um, I found a recipe for onion beer. And I thought, onion beer, ew. But apparently it was really, really popular way back in the day. And recently I came across a recipe for onion wine. And I thought, ew, onion wine. But apparently it's really popular over in France. It's like a fine dining wine, you know, it turns into a, like a white wine of sorts. We are using sweet onions, so that sweetness comes out. We're going to be drawing that sweetness out by water bath sauteing and then boiling to get all that sweetness out of the onions. You know when you cook onions, they do change flavor? Well, this is the same process. So along with the onions, we are going to add some potatoes because onions and yeast kind of don't like playing in the same sandbox. So the potatoes will kind of buffer the two and will help with the fermentation of the wine. They're not really going to import too much flavor at all. It's just more nutrients and, and, and a better atmosphere for it. So you're saying, I ain't drinking no onion wine. Well, if it doesn't turn out really good, I can always use it for cooking wine. Can you imagine sauteing up some onions and mushrooms to go on top of a nice good steak and then deglazing the pan with some onion wine? Yeah, I think so. So it's not going to go to waste. Um, I'm only making one gallon. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get this going. What I'm going to be doing is going to be uh, peeling and slicing up the onions and then just rough chucking the potatoes, not peeling them or anything like that. And then I'm going to take it over to the stove and we're going to do a water saute. You don't want to in introduce any oil or butter to this. This is just throwing them into a pan and putting a little bit of water in every once in a while to prevent the, the onions from sticking. And then we're going to put the potatoes in a little bit later. They don't have to be, you know, sauteed and, and mashed and boiled and, you know, just smithereens. So let's get cracking. I'm just going to show you one. I'm just going to, well, I mean, you guys know how to peel onions and stuff, don't you? I've got a bag of um, uh, sweet onions. I wanted some Vidalia onions, but I couldn't find any in, in the grocery store. You know how things are right now. So, but I did find this bag of uh, organic premium sweet onions. And uh, it's about two pounds worth of onions. You'll need about two pounds of onions. You could do smaller onions like this. You could do big onions, whichever you've got um, on hand or you can find. Now, don't throw these away. Put them in a little Ziploc baggie and put them in your freezer. And when you're ready to do stock, because you all make stock, don't you? <laughs> Throw these in when you're making the stock and it makes a wonderful stock. I do that with all my veggie bits. The ends are like carrots and celery, the leafy parts and the root parts, the onion skins and the roots. Throw them in a Ziploc baggie and put them in my freezer. And then with all my chicken bones and like the rotisserie chicken bones, they make wonderful stocks. Um, I just throw that all into a pot one day, fill it up with water, boil it away for, you know, four or five, six hours or whenever I remember to go back to it. <laughs> and uh, filter it out and then I've got beautiful chicken stock or, you know, whatever bones I've got. But I save all my bones, honestly. I just throw them, I just chuck them all into the same pot. So I'll have steak bones, I'll have chicken bones, pork. Um, I don't do like sh shrimp shells in there. That, that might be a little odd. <laughs> but um, yeah, and that makes a wonderful stock. And if you've got a huge, huge pot, you can make lots and lots of it and use it for the rest of the year. Put them, in, put them back into freezer Ziploc baggies and put them back in the freezer. And then just pull out a 
bag when you're ready for some stock. That's not really brewing, but you know. My tidbit for the day. I mean, you bought this stuff. You might as well get every penny out of it. Alrighty. Skins are sticking. And I'm going to start crying here soon. Onions do that to me. You can hear my doggies coming in and out at the doggy door. Don't have to be perfect. All right. And then all I'm going to do is just slice it in half, and then I'm just going to rough slice some. So you get like little onion rings, or not onion rings, but you know, little slices. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this because I'm going to start tearing up here, and I'll probably have to reapply my makeup. I did not plan this very well. Woo! <laughs> and we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, here's my pot. And then here's my onions and my potatoes. I'm going to be covering the potatoes with water just to so that they don't brown up um, in case. Because I want the onions to start going first. I still have some peels, but I'm not too worried about that. So these are in the pot they go. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Sorry about my arm fat just in your face. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to do this as easy as possible. I'm also going to uh, put in a little bit of water, and uh, we'll just saute away. Um, like maybe like a half a cup of water. So I've got two pounds of onions, sweet onions sliced. And then I also have two pounds. This is the russet potatoes. It was like two big, huge russet potatoes. And just chop those up. So I'm going to get this one going. And then um, we'll come back in a little bit. This is probably going to take like 20, 30 minutes to get these sautéed a little bit. We don't want them brown. We just want them to start softening up. And then I'm going to start adding in some more water. And we're going to boil the living daylights out of these things. So, okay, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. And this is what the onions are looking like. Starting to soften down. I've got it on like a number six for electric heat. You know, a medium, higher medium. Woo! So I'm going to put in a little bit of water just so that it doesn't stick. Just, you know, a couple of splashes. Stir that around. So this is a water bath saute, I guess is what they call it. So it's just bringing out that sweetness of the onions. Kind of, you know, changes them to a translucent. So we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, folks, we're back again. My onions are coming along nicely. Kind of sticking just a little bit. So I'm going to pop in just a little bit of water. Just a splash to get them from not sticking. There we go. They got some nice color on them. I mean, they're not like caramelized like when you do uh, with butter or oil and stuff like that. But that's okay. It's bringing out the sweetness of them. They're not so potent anymore. So, you know, my eyes are not draining. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop in the potatoes as well. And uh, to get just a little cooking on them. Whoop, steamed up my camera again. I get too close to it. There we go. And that was two pounds of, I think that was just like a russet potato, honestly. Okay. And then after about mm, maybe five minutes or so, I'm going to go ahead and add in about a half a gallon of uh, filtered water. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And then I'll be back. Okay, folks, it's been about ten minutes since the last time. So we're going to go ahead and put in about a half a gallon of water. Give or take. And we're going to bring this up to a boil. 
and then I'm going to simmer it, take it back down a little bit, and then simmer it for about mm, 10 minutes to get uh, some good flavor from the potatoes. And then we're going to turn this off. I'm going to strain the potatoes off and the onions off. Well, you know, potatoes and onions off. Strain those. I'm not going to toss those because those would still be good for dinner tonight, veggie-wise, or let them cool completely. And like I said, put them in um, a freezer bag and put them in uh, the freezer until when you make stock. So, you know, but these are still good for veg, so I might make like a potato puree, onion puree, or something like that to go over some, ooh, Swedish meatballs sound good tonight. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to bring this to a boil, cook it for about 20 minutes, simmer it for 20 minutes, and then turn off the heat. I'm going to let that cool until it's about room temperature, and then we'll be back to finish the rest of the onion wine. This is a long process, but I think it's going to be worth it. All right, we'll be back. Okay, and we're back, everyone. All right. So what I've done after I showed you the video of uh, boiling, putting the water in and stuff, I cooked this for about 20 minutes uh, on a simmer, not boiling, boiling, but a simmer for at least 20 minutes. And then I just drained off the liquid, reserving the liquid. <laughs> uh, drained off the onions and the potatoes. And uh, put this in a, um, I actually filled up, my little, uh, I got a little wash tub full of cold water with some ice cubes. And then I just put this pot in there to chill it down. We need this to be, you know, under 110 degrees, which it is now. It's almost room temperature now after I gathered and cleaned up everything. So, um, and it's a nice golden, well, I'll show you when it gets in the thing. I'm afraid I'm gonna spill it. <laughs> so everything has been sanitized with uh, my Sani, uh, sanitization, my Star San. So um, I've got my veggies just cooling away. So we'll do that for tonight for dinner, man. It's a potato onion mash. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then um, we are going to be using um, two pounds of white sugar. Um, so this recipe is really easy. Two pounds onion, two pounds potatoes, two pounds sugar. <laughs> and it actually had, I did a specific gravity of just the liquid. And it came to a 1.012, which I was kind of surprised. I mean, it's still going to be, I mean, that would only give us like a 2% alcohol if we just fermented it just as is. But, uh, kind of a surprising. I didn't think it would have that much in there, but it did. So, we're going to go ahead and put the sugar in first since I only have one funnel <laughs> and I want it dry when I put the sugar in. I'm going to go ahead and put the sugar in my demijohn first and then I'm going to pour the liquid in. And hopefully I don't spill everything. <laughs> so I'm going to move this up forward. I'm going to bring out my demijohn and my funnel. wish I had a bigger funnel, but, you know, it is what it is. And we're just going to go ahead and start pouring the sugar in. Try not to get it all over. I really need something different. Hang on. Okay, I gotta switch my sugar into a smaller container because <laughs> I was spilling it all over the place. Hopefully, I won't spill it now. There we go. That well, not really. <laughs> oh, I'm making a big mess. Well, you know how it is. There we go. I just used a piece of paper for the funnel. <laughs> I was getting the sugar all over the place. You and me and sugar, you know it. I'm going to get it all over the place. All right. So now we got our two pounds of sugar in there. We're going to go ahead and transfer the um, must now into the Demi John as well. And we're going to dissolve the uh, sugar. But I'm going to pour this into my measuring cup so that way I don't spill that all over the place. So it's going to take me just a minute. I'll be back. 
Okay, so we're back again. Here's the onion juice, must, <laughs> and on top of the sugar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a good shake and mix and try to get the sugar dissolved. I could have um, actually put the sugar in uh, when the must was uh, still boiling in the, on the stove, but I didn't think about that. And that would have dissolved the sugar right away too. You know me and, and thinking about things. So we're gonna have, go ahead and give this a good shake to get that sugar dissolved. So that's two pounds of sugar and that's a lot of sugar. got most of the sugar dissolved. I think some of it on the bottle is actually the onion pulp and some potato pulp that's making me think it's sugar. <laughs> but we're going to add some more water to this so it'll dissolve just right. Okay. So let's go ahead and add some fresh filtered water to this. funnel just in case. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up to about the hips of the bottle. So I have no idea if this is going to be an active or, you know, fermentation. So just err on caution, I suppose. Maybe just a little bit more. Maybe not air on the caution side. There we go. I don't risk much more than that. I won't risk much more than that. Okay. So let's go ahead and give this a shake one more time just to distribute all that lovely onion juice. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> specific gravity reading. So we have the original specific gravity. There, she's floating now. So 1.100 is our specific gravity, and so that potentially should give us about the 14% alcohol. Not too shabby. I always say potential because the way things have been going, I haven't been getting the potential. That's okay. Labor of love, right? Labor of love. We're using 71B, Lauvin 71B, and that gives us some fruity esters while it's fermenting, and so I'm hoping with the onion, might need some. <laughs> so we're going to use about half a packet of this. Just chucking it in, being a rebel today. I mean, the package says you don't have to rehydrate so you know that's what they're known for so maybe you know they might know something <laughs> all right let's just give this a shake a shake just to incorporate the yeast there we go an airlock on her here we go in. I'm going to label this. We're going to uh, put her in the area where I always put everything else in and hopefully she'll start fermenting in a couple of days here and we will check back with her in a little while. Maybe about a month. I don't know how onion one's going to go but we'll check on her. All right folks thanks for joining. I hope you were entertained today. <laughs> 
and I can't wait to see what this is going to turn out like. I'm kind of excited. Something new and unusual. I've never had onion wine before, so. All right, you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye. Recording. Dang it. Do I? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, let's try this again.